Welcome back to my little channel. It has been a while, I know, but every month I want to do a Who Needs Feminism thing. But today I decided I am going to do the Who Needs Feminism one. I'm a little bit late, I agree. But it's going to be about the Women's March instead of people standing there with piece pieces of um, cardboard. I'm not quite sure how it will go, but I hope it will be good. And as always, I'm looking forward to your criticism, so please let me know what you think. First off, I obviously have to acknowledge that not all women are feminists, but that this walk had a very strong feminism vibe to it. And, well, I may as well start with a good old-fashioned meme joke. In one day, Trump got more women walking than Michelle Obama did in eight years, which, in all fairness, is true. I did scour the interwebs to find images on the Women's March and I found this one particularly funny. Okay, the quality isn't that good, unfortunately that's my bad, I should have taken a better version I guess, but I love this one, you can still read it. This is not America, with an arrow pointing towards Trump. No, you're right, he's Trump, he's not a country. What a surprise. He is, however, the president of America. And then there is this beauty. I'm not going to comment on the first one. I'm going to go for the second one first. Girls just want to have fun. And then the mental rights. Well, girls have mental rights, I guess. Um, and they have fundamental rights. Again, feminism, please tell us which rights do women not have in the Western world, especially in America, considering that this is the Women's March on Washington, probably against Trump. Well, they won't say it outright, but then again, everything they did is to say that they are not happy about Trump. But I love the second one as well. My favorite position is CEO. And then you see a woman, she could be okay, I don't know, I don't know the person, but how much work does she put in being a CEO, you think? I'm um, curious. I particularly liked this one though. I mean, a girl, uh, not bad looking, don't get me wrong, I don't want to be negative about the way she looks, nothing like that. Scrabbled on her forehead, not my president. No, my dear, it's not your president, it's your forehead. I know you meant Trump is not your president, but you know what, if you're American, he is. And, well, you gotta love feminism. They've always been able to recruit children into their masses. I mean, we had her story because history was his and his isn't right. So now we have a girl who is girl cutting this presidency because she's not a boy, therefore she can't boycott it. <sighs> well, girl cutting isn't a word, so... We may as well ignore this one, I guess. And, of course, if you have a group of people like-minded together speaking out against, well, the president in this case, well, automatically it must have become an intersectional feminist revolution. But here is where things will take a little detour. Because now I've shown you women in favor of women's rights and whatnot, but now I will also show you the other side of these women marches, not only in Washington, because there have been marches in other cities in the Western world as well. I hope you will stay with me till the end of this part. Now, we have all seen Madonna making a spectacle of herself by claiming she wants to bomb the White House. I wonder how long it will take before she will get arrested for terrorist threats. But this one is worse to me. This is Donna Hilton. And her claim to fame is that she got arrested, prosecuted and sentenced for the murder of a 60-year-old homosexual guy in 1985. She wasn't the only one of the group that did this though, but she was one of them. And now she is here talking about how good women should behave, how good people should behave. I'm not quite sure why feminism thinks it's a good idea to have this woman speak for them. Especially considering the fact that the guy they killed, whether he was homosexual or not, was still an old man. 
and they tortured him. They didn't just kill him. They tortured him for several days. Thank you, feminism, for showing your face. But it gets worse, doesn't it? Because one of the organizers is Linda Sarsour, who has spoken out in favor of Sharia. And here she is with the standard Islamic ISIS salute, so to speak. Well, basically, it's not a salute. They're pointing up to point to their god. And here she is spreading one of her lies about living under Sharia. <laughs> will people actually fall for it? Well, the thing is, yes, they will, because social justice warriors and feminists believe whatever a Muslim tells them, because they are more oppressed than they are. And here comes the problem with Islam. Because now we have people advocating for wearing the hijab, because it's a symbol of liberation for Islamic women, according to Linda Sassour and the social justice idiots that feminists and, well, the other social justice idiots are. But is wearing a hijab a sign of being a liberated woman? Well, most women that have lived under Sharia will tell you, no, it is not a choice. It's not a sign of liberation. Hell, not wearing them can get you killed as a woman. But yes, I can already hear the social justice liptards and feminist idiots. Well, but all fates are equal and equally bad. Yeah, no, you're wrong. I don't care about any religion. But there is one religion that truly scares me, and that is Islam. And it should truly scare you too. Again, obeying the laws of Sharia is not a choice. Obeying the laws set in the Quran is not a choice. If you do not, you have every right to be killed. And I know there will be people out there right now that will go, well, obviously he's exaggerating. It cannot be that bad. Well, I hate to break it to you, but... It is actually far worse than you think. Just look at this picture. The above one from before Sharia and the one on the bottom since Sharia. And trust me, I've had way worse pictures of women being dug in so that only the top of their body is out and their head is out and they were being stoned to death. Or a girl getting a hundred lashes because she came too close to a boy. Not that they did anything, they were just standing too close. Well, she was sentenced to a hundred lashes. She died well before they reached 100. But don't worry, she's dead now. So don't worry, she's not going to complain. But shit like this happens. Women have no rights on the Sharia. If you're a woman and your parents are not happy with what you're doing, if you're unlucky, they will throw acid in your face. Trust me, I've seen a lot of pictures of that too. I didn't want to share them here because... I thought they were too upsetting. I really did. Oh, and don't worry, they don't always throw acid in your face. Sometimes they are nice. They'll just cut off your ears or your nose. Are you sure you want to say that wearing the hijab is a sign of liberation? Really? Now, I never thought much of feminism to begin with, but I am in favor of equality, and I do think that men and women should have equal rights, and men, on average, protect women. But not under Sharia, not in Islam. And feminists are actually trying to marry between them and Islam, trying to say that the two ideologies are complementing each other, they are mutually exclusive. And okay, so that wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, okay, there's a woman who is part of the Women's March in Washington that might have some questionable backgrounds. But no, because what I'm going to show you next happened in a Women's March in Berlin, which is aligned to the one in Washington, but fair enough. It wasn't quite organized by them.
Yes, you heard this right. Some idiot stands in front of a poster, pussy grabs back and end white supremacy and starts the prayer of the Muslims. What a fucking idiot. Especially in Germany because 2015, 2016, New Year's Eve in Köln, and not only in Köln, but also in Berlin and other huge cities, we saw massive rapes and sexual assaults by people that are now generally called Nafris, which stands for North Africans. But hey, let's, let's pretend that never happened. Let's pretend that there isn't a game called Taharush. Let's, let's try to do that. Let's forget that in Germany at this point in time, women are getting raped and murdered by Muslim immigrants. No, no, all of that, that's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. No, no, let us virtue signal in showing how good we are. And you know what? I'm not going to put a link to a story about Taharush Jamai. You know why I'm not going to do that? Because I don't want to be accused of pushing a certain narrative. I'm going to ask you to Google it or Bing it or Yahoo it yourself. Taharush Jamai. Look it up. Anyway, I guess um, it's a good way to end this story though. And I will add one last picture I found from the march because ending on Taharush Jamai seems pretty harsh especially for the women that actually are being well gang raped in public but that's okay feminism doesn't mind I mean it's done by Muslims can't be bad then can it I'm sorry I, I, I keep hanging on this one there's one last thing though Having addressed everything I have addressed so far, I kind of enjoy looking at these playful idiots. Her arms are tired from holding this sign since the 60s. Well, what rights do women not have in America at present day? I still, I can't believe we still have to protest this crap. You don't have to. You want to. Equality hurts no one. But women already have equality. They have more rights than men. So, in all fairness, there is no equality because women have it better. Never mind that, though. They'd rather have a country controlled by Sharia. Because that's so much better than what they have now. And they actually believe that. Anyway, I'm still a little bit pissed. And I don't want to end up shouting and blah de blah de blah so I'm just going to end it quite nice and simple here. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel so inclined. And if you have any criticism, I would love to hear it. See you all next time.